Hey, today we're going to practice on the floor myofascial qigong. And uh, this will open up your shoulders, it'll open up your waist, hopefully it will also open up your mind and connect you to your body. So I hope you enjoy this. And uh, let me know, please subscribe to my channel, the usual YouTube spiel, man. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> like it if you like it. Um, they always, everybody says this in the beginning of the videos, I don't know. but. You know, it helps. If you like it, more people will see it, and it's helpful. And, you know, send me a message. You can get me... I'm doing these live on Facebook twice a week, and some of them are going to translate to YouTube. And, um, and so, thanks for being here. I've given you time to get a yoga mat. Maybe you still need to press pause. You know, you can do this in a chair. If you do this on a chair, you'll have to... I don't know, sit on the edge, and then for the stretching section, you'll have to wing it and maybe just like bend forward and do a forward bend in the chair on the edge of the chair. Try to lengthen yourself and just, you know, I, I know that everybody cannot sit on the floor, and I'm going to do some chair videos specifically relatively soon. But uh, I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. So come into a comfortable position. Hopefully, you're sitting on something comfortable and you can sit. And position yourself in a way that, you know, you feel that feels good. So whatever it is, you might need to be up higher than me. You know, don't, don't make this hard on yourself. But being on the floor is good. Spine straight is good. And we're just going to start. We'll start traditionally on the floor. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Find ourselves sitting here on our mats. Close your eyes. And just find yourself, feel your butt on the mat, feel your legs. Feel yourself in the space. So in the Tao Te Ching, it says that humans are supported by the earth. The earth is supported by heaven, and we're all supported in the Tao. So our bodies are the bridge between heaven and earth. We harmonize the energy of heaven and earth in our bodies and our spirit, when we can do that, our spirit connects automatically. You don't need to be spiritual. You need to free your body of the stress and tension that's sitting in it. So we're gonna come into here. So bring your hands, you know, elbows gently back sitting up straight so feel the pull in your elbows and now turn your hands and extend them forward so push with your elbows and extend your thumbs forward here and keep your chin level so none of this or none of that try to feel your shoulders move forward just feel where the stretch happens and just gently stay in that stretch and now we're going to do our elbows, turn the hands over, pull them back in gently. So the more gentle you are, the more benefit you get here because it allows the fascia to change through gentle movement. Notice if your shoulders are up here and let them drop. Exhaling. So let your hands pull forward as you exhale and your elbows come to the side. The hands twirl around, palms up, elbows gently back, stretching across your chest, pushing forward, thumbs forward, looking forward in the distance, but you're probably looking at your computer, right? So, but we want to keep our eyes soft, our vision soft. Try to see it, but also try to be involved in the body. So you want to come back and 
push forward. So you notice where your shoulders are, not up here. And the hands, the wrists rotate, elbows rotate, palms come back. Thumbs forward, fingers, hands like claws. Dragon shows its claws, I think this is called. Hands come under, like claws. So you have to flex your wrists and your fingers a little bit. Engages the fascia all the way up through your hands. Pull your thumbs forward. A few more. So turn your elbows, turn your wrists. Gently though. So where are your shoulders? What's going on in your low back? And are you still seated comfortably? And lift your spine from the back. So you lift the top of your head up. A couple more. Don't go into pain. Notice what's going on in your face and do less so that you can smile through this. Important to smile. It cues the body to relax. Pushing forward. Almost done with this. Pushing forward. And now, so, one hand comes up. So the elbows are bent and the wrists are flexed. And this is the dragon dance. So my shoulders are moving, my waist is moving. My arms my, from my elbows are making circles. So gentle, gentle. This isn't, you know, don't overstretch this. Just feel where the stretch starts in your body. Just feel that very first instance of tension and try to relax that. And don't go farther than that. And you'll be amazed that things will open up more quickly the less you do, but the more engaged you are with how you feel. And you can follow your hands with your eyes. I'm talking to you, so I'm not doing that so much. But just let this, let this go. So just a few more times. Graceful, turning your waist. This is an opportunity to loosen up your waist. Notice what's going on with your neck and chin. Spine long. Slow it down a little bit and see if you can move slowly. Slowly turn. Slowly turn. It's going to get into the tension in your shoulders. Maybe it already has. And you can rest anytime you need to. But come back. Okay, so the hands are going to go up. Huh? Now we're going to stretch them up. So reach up. Can't see my hands here, unfortunately. Can't see my hands, but my hands are pushing up. Look up. So stretch up. You can see my shoulders are stretching up. Stretch up and look up. And now come down. Palms turn up. Turn your, rib, turn your shoulders over and reach up. And then exhale, so wide to the corners. To the corners, not to the sides. And so reach out, reaching forward. Stretch up, reach up, look up, and come down. Palms up, turning your shoulders, palms down and reaching up, looking up, stretch.
catching the back of your neck, and not just crunching your head back to look up. So try to feel this line of energy going up, and you can pull your tailbone down in the back, and lengthen your low back and soften it, and stretch your spine, because that's really what we're trying to do here is stretch, stretch, stretch the spine, stretch the spine, the spine is the pathway of consciousness, and that's ultimately what we need to exercise. tension in your low back and where are your shoulders so you want to keep your shoulders here reaching out so out and then down sides or the corners, whatever is comfortable, so don't go into a place where there's tension, and don't do this like this, so your shoulders want to be soft and down. turn and the wrists turn and the hands the fingers turn these are the phoenix claws now so the phoenix is more bird like Turning from the elbows, turning from the shoulder blades, the shoulder joints. Rotating, 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 reaching out and now side to side. I know your shoulders are probably aching. Try to Move your hands away from each other, and now we're going to just gently let them float to the floor, slowly, slowly, not yet, slowly, slowly. Keep reaching out through your fingers, right, and see if you can make your hands touch the floor at the same time. So see if you can, oh, my left hand, my left finger touch first, right, so now we're going to reach forward, and like a bird. We're going to extend our fingers apart to open up, reach up, and fly. So 
extending, 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 extending. They're just going to touch down, hopefully at the same time, and then to so from the center, you want to extend your palms and reach up, getting the joints to fly apart. Stretch the back of your neck to lift your chin. And chin down. Looking right. Gently. Chin down, chin level. Looking left. Looking right. So, palms come in, push to the left as you look to the right, hands come back, palms to you, push the other way, gently, so gently, hands come back, looking one way, pushing the other way, so you can spend a couple of breaths here and pulse your elbows, pulse your palms out. And notice where the tension is. 
Notice if your shoulder is trying to ride up. And let your shoulder down and be soft. So let your elbows be heavy here as your hands come back. And then resist that as your hands go out. Okay. And the hands in, palms facing you. We're going to do it to the left. Hands right, pushing. Inhale, push. Exhale, back. Push, and exhale, back. Push, exhale, back. So my head isn't moving any farther. I'm not, you know, going into that tension. I'm just trying to create more space. Hands come forward, and now, so we're going to go a couple of times. And see if it feels any different. Hands come forward. Ceiling. So extend your hands here. So extend your fingers. So energy in your fingers. Shoulders down. So let your hands pull your shoulders away and try to look up at this at some angle, right? Where there's a little bit of tension, but notice what's going on in your face. And don't overstretch here. Just feel the where it is and just kind of ease up a bit. And then see if you can move your head, moving your chin, moving your chin. So we don't ever want to go to a place where we can't move. Coming the other way. So really engage your hands. Find an angle, it could be any angle, there's a lot of tension in our neck. Just find a way to not release a little bit of that. So come back a little bit, back off, and then try to move your head a little bit. So gentle, really gentle. Find out where you're tense. Just don't go to that place where, where your face contorts. Right? In different ways, and you find out more about where it's tense and why it's tense. And relax your hands and bring your head back down. And so, right hand goes on top as a claw, right? Fingers engaged, posture, hands engaged, claw. This hand comes underneath and then braces here. And we're going to turn and look to twisting. Thumbs, like a loose fist, thumbs to L1, right here. And the shoulder's not up like this, but down. Elbows flying away from each other. And now the left hand comes on top. Bottom palm comes, slides under. And then when it gets under your arm, hand turns over. And gently braces under there, and then you twist. So the fascia in the hand is engaged, the wrist is straight. breaths. Try to relax something. Okay? Don't just pull into the into the shape, but try to relax something in here. Alright? And still keep extending. So it's a combination of, of playing with these movements and not just going to your limit. We don't want to go to our limit. We want to go to the beginning of the tension. Shoulders down. going on with your neck. Just 
try to turn from your waist, pushing your hip down, coming back. The shoulder coming up like that, look down. Bring your thumbs in here to L1. Briefly, fists are soft. One more time, each side. up to your ears and make some shoulder circles. So, up. 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 And then the other way. What's going on? So change the cross of your feet if you're sitting on the floor. See if that works. See if you can, if you do this habitually one way. Reaching up. So palms up, thumbs up, elbows bent. Reach through your elbows and your thumbs. Reach up, look up. So try to pull your elbows apart. Try to pull the shoulders apart from your elbows and then turn your palms up. Thumbs up, extend that way. Twisting, twisting everything. Opening your ribcage. Try to pull your shoulder blades apart here. Try to pull your shoulder blades apart. What's going on in your low back? And then coming down. So coming up and push. Looking up, gently looking up, not like that, but back of the neck long. Take a couple of breaths. And then try to lift your shoulder blades. See if you Create some more space in here. Externally rotate your hands. Push your palms and push your elbows apart. So there's resistance from your elbows and resistance from your palms. You're making a circle, a circular shape with your chest, pulling your shoulders apart, not up to your ears, but they want to go apart as well. So you're stretching all kinds of things that we don't usually stretch with. Reaching up and exhaling. So now we're going to go into full extension and do a phoenix dance. So this is the other one, the dragon dance, was with the bent elbows. This one is with straight elbows and straight wrists, but still soft. I mean, relatively straight elbows. I'm not doing that, but I'm also coming from the shoulder, the shoulder joint. And if you have the range of motion, you can reach back more now and stretch your shoulder back. Stretch your shoulder. Stretch. 
stretch. Stretch. Stretch. There'll be some variation of this every morning. So I do the joint warm up, the standing joint warm up, then I do a form. Do a standing, a bit of standing, and then I do a seated practice. Bring your hands. Lower palms up, pull your palms in, and we're going to brush the meridians in the front of the body. We're going to come around to your kidneys, and then we're going to exhale your hands behind you, open them up, reach forward, reaching forward, pulling in. softly underneath your chest your elbows are move your shoulders here right. your hands calm behind come in and push out as it's complicated reaching forward so pull your fingers forward and let your head come forward so that your whole shoulders move forward and then bring it in and push it out. Come in. Don't get confused. It's okay if you get confused. Brush the meridians. Hang on to your kidneys. Palms up. Hands turn over as they come around. Into your heart, pushing out, coming in, brushing softly all these acupuncture points in your chest and your sides. Hands come back, palms up, rotate the shoulders, reach forward, gather in, push out. Stretch, come in, palms up, rotate the shoulders, head lifts, reach forward, come in, push out, gather in. Brushing, palms up, coming in. Last time, we're going to, we skipped a step, but we're going to change to one hand comes forward, and the other hand turns behind your back. in front and then it comes from behind. Stays up, it's behind you. Do this a bit 
fuck with me sometimes, but I know it might be a little confusing. Slow it down. His hand brushes the front of the other hand. He's turned over and follows it. He brushes the front. It's over. Just to give you a little practice for change again. shoulders. Three. So brushing the body, palm brushes behind you, palm up, and turns. And so the palm turns as the shoulder rotates. This creates a lot of freedom in your shoulders. And one more time the other way. you, palms together. So pull your shoulder blades back, pull your elbows together, chin level, and now try to squeeze your right, right elbow to your left elbow looking forward, so don't move your head. You're just pulling that shoulder around, pulling those elbows together. And now the other side, so pull your left elbow to your right elbow, you're still looking forward, chin level. Change. shapes. It's not about how far you can go. Just come here. Wherever it is. If it's here, it's here. Okay? So here, we're going to take our hands. We're going to brush up the inside. Brush all the way up. Our face over our head. I know you touched your feet and your, and your face. Don't be worried about that. Alright? It's the inside of your legs. You're going to brush. And as you come forward, your knees come back. I was talking. Okay, so it looks like this. Coming up over, brushing over your head. Back of the hands come together under your breasts, surround your kidneys as you come down the outside before your feet in. So this creates a forward bend. It creates some flexibility here and the ability to move from this position Brushing, stimulating the meridians to this position. Open inside. Just 
make some circles. chair you now you can try to stretch your feet out in front of you and let's sit on the edge of the chair and we're gonna come we're not gonna we're not gonna bend our upper body into a forward bend we're not gonna do that bring your hands to the side All right and so now I want you to sink your, your low back down, like a V. Let me make a U in your low back. And just move your hips. So don't move your shoulders here. Move your hips. Move your body from your hips. See if you can do that. The shoulders are just relatively steady. And now, with straight arms, relatively straight arms, twist your shoulders. Everything else is relaxed. So without bending, without bending your elbow like that, I want you to bring your shoulder back. Twist this way, you can look back behind you and look into the corner. Take a few breaths. I mean, don't be adamant about keeping your elbow straight. Come back to center, twisting, so the spine is relaxed. Spine is relaxed. Again, relaxing the spine. Relaxing. Relaxing the spine. So now, lift your chest and stretch your back. Stretch your low back. Lift your, your low back. Lift your lower lumbar vertebra. Two and three, main men, the gate of life. Lift it up, stretch your chest up, stretch your shoulders down and back. Coming up. Ah, uh, so now we're gonna come forward, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna bend like that, because we can all do that. Right? That doesn't give you anything. What you want to do is you want to come however far forward you can come and just put your hands here. And keeping your back straight, just use the weight of your elbows to bring you forward. So just the weight of your elbows. You might not come forward that far, but I don't want you to, I want you to lengthen through the top of your head. length in the back of your neck. So you're looking at a 45 degree angle down. And then gradually, without effort, kind of let go and release forward. So without pulling the top down, crunching down like that and creating more tension in your diaphragm where it's probably already tense. That's what we want to extend and relax. So I'm not putting, I'm not pulling here. I didn't get here, you know, I didn't, I didn't do this in a day. I started up here. And for years, I did this and I thought I was doing a forward bend. So I'm going to lift here and just relax everything and let the hamstrings get long. You don't have to do a lot of hard stretching, and if there's tension in your face, you're working too hard. You have to find something to relax and pull back. And just take a few breaths here, right? And 
then if you want to, you can reach forward and pull the top of your head forward. Middle triangle. Right? And I want you to round your low back and pull your chest towards your feet, but with your low back around. So we're not coming forward like that. You're resisting, you're turning your body into a bow. So you need wider here. But you're going to bow your spine and try to stick your low back out and try to create space in all those vertebrae that are sticky back there and the head should be loose. You can feel a nice stretch in your shoulders as you do this. And the upper thoracic stretches, and the mid thoracic, and the lumbar all stretch. And the neck is long, not slumping, but you want to lengthen the top of your, through the top of your head. Good. Coming into a twist. So, you're just going to come into a gentle twist. One hand behind you. Whatever is good for you. You can pull like this. You can be like this. You can be wrapped up as a pretzel. I know some of you are pretty flexible. Right? But we want to look to the back and stretch the back shoulder back. So try to lift through your low back, lift through your chest. Try to lift everything and twist. Make it feel good. Use the lift to create space in your spine. We're doing this to create space in the body, not to turn our body into pretzels, right? Hopefully. Some of us are already pretty flexible. It doesn't matter, right? What matters is making us feel good. Having the comfort, lifting, lifting, looking back, and lifting so the chest pulls towards the knee. And the low back straightens, lifts. is comfortable. Okay. Again. See if it's different. Gentle. These are gentle. We're not trying to set any records here. We're not trying to stretch farther than we've ever stretched. We're trying to go to a place that feels good. Always go to a place that feels good. You don't ever want to go beyond that place that feels good. And come to the other side. Let this wave 
your body, so it comes from your tailbone. Pitches you slightly forward. It's not just this. You can start there. It feels so good to move and move through your shoulders when you do this. Now look at your tail. Tiger looks at its tail. Looking towards your butt, twisting your body, your butt towards your shoulders. We're going to come into a twist here. So, this hand, the right hand is going 45 degrees roughly from my shoulder and then I'm pull, putting my other arm underneath and that gives me leverage to push my shoulder away and drag my arm underneath which really opens up my spine. It kind of just hangs. stretch here and change again. We don't want to stay anywhere too long and every time you do this you get a different angle. So this is a really gentle back bend. And then you can turn your head from side to side and look at your tail. Turning your hips. Yeah, I know. Like a little kid. So stretch. Use your shoulders to get a little higher if you want. You might find this challenging. Little kids do this all, all the time. Ah, okay. Coming up gently. into a forward bend. And I'm going to just want to hang here. So just hang. Just hang and sway. Sway. You might be up here. It's okay. 
Bend your knees if you need to. Okay, be straight leg, be straight leg. Relax, relax your shoulders. Let your head just hang, let your head go. So you can come onto your thighs, pull your butt down. Externally rotate your hands and stretch up, stretch up, stretch your palms up. Now bring your hands down. And turn your hands up and put your fingers together this time and turn your palms on your chest. And stretch out. So, palms out, pull your shoulder blades forward, hunch your back, hunch your upper back, hunch your upper back. So, pull your shoulder blades forward and then stretch them up. Chin level, chin level, chin level. So, now try to raise the top of your head up and lift. So, pulling, bend your knees. Pull your tailbone down, lengthen your low back, and then straighten your legs. But don't let your butt stick out. Important to not let your butt stick out. And then we're going to externally rotate the hands and extending. So we're extending out, the hands are flying away from each other. The joints are opening, creating space joints, especially after all the work that we just did. One more time, maybe two more times, the hands are going to come up, come together, pushing forward, pushing, so here, pushing in this direction, now, yeah, so not quite up, bend your knees, and tuck your, tuck your tailbone under, and now, Push your legs straight and push yourself up. And you can look up if you want. Look up, but don't crunch the back of your neck. So don't go into your patterns here. So if your pattern is to just do that, don't do it. Put a length in the back of your neck and look up. Look up more with your eyes. Lengthen your low back. And then extend. 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 And so now, actually, do some that. Just let go. Let go of your shoulders. You worked your shoulders hard. Let go of the shoulders. Let them go. Let them go. And now we're going to shake. So just shake. Shake it up. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 Twist and shake. Externally rotate your hands, calm down. You can shake for longer. It's always good to shake for longer. And just feel your body, feel. Feel, feel what's going on. Feel the vibration in your hands. Feel the chi, feel, feel the chi. So we've done a lot of work. Now it's time to feel the chi. And we're gonna externally rotate, reach up, pulling down the heavens. Three times. Put your hands on your lower belly, and we're going to rotate clockwise twelve times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, 
Thank you for joining me, and I'm going to keep doing this, I'm going to keep posting these videos on YouTube, as many as I can. These are times of change, and, and we're going through a phase that we've never seen before. So, so we need to connect deeply with ourselves, and I want to, you know, I'm, God knows, I'm old and I've been through a lot of stuff and I want to share this what I've learned foolishness that I've learned wisdom foolishness it's all you know it's all relative but this stuff makes you feel good it connects you to the earth it connects you to yourself and these are times very disconnected times and we spend way too much time you know just reacting to what's going on around us and this gives you a chance to unplug from that and plug into yourself and allow yourself to be present for even you can be present for an hour a day man you're, you're ahead of so many other people and you're so far ahead of the curve that you're actually able to see straight so thank you